Fans of the 80s Brad Pack crew, stick around. There's a brand new documentary and I'll help you decide if it's worth a watch. Bratz, a documentary series on Hulu, takes viewers on a nostalgic journey revisiting the infamous Brat Pack era of the 1980s. If you were coming of age in the 1980s, the Brat Pack was near the center of your cultural awareness. Created by and featuring Andrew McCarthy, one of the original Brat Pack members, 1985 New York Magazine published Hollywood's Brat Pack. I just remember seeing that cover and thinking, oh. The series delves into the cultural impact of the group and its legacy in Hollywood. However, the execution leaves much to be desired. Oh. The most glaring issue with Bratz is McCarthy himself. The series feels more like a personal venting session for him rather than a balanced exploration of the Brat Pack's phenomenon. I've never talked to anybody about what that was like. McCarthy's constant interruptions and tendency to redirect conversation back to himself overshadow the perspective of those he interviews. An offense. Well, As could opposed you call to like the Brat. <laughs> because we were young. This approach not only stifles the voices of his subjects, but also showcases a concerning level of self absorption it's apparent in the expressions of his interviewees who are often frustrated or concerned as McCarthy dominates the discourse. I hated the Brad Pack for decades. What a disaster. Despite these flaws, there are redeeming moments in the movie. The conversation with Rob Lowe stands out as a highlight. Lowe's optimism about the Brad Pack label and his reflections on the opportunities it brought are refreshing. Not only changed all of our lives, it changed what entertainment is. He provides a positive counterpart to the bitterness surrounding the term, suggesting that embracing it rather than fighting against it might have been the more constructive approach. I mean, I'm not going to say we were the Beatles or anything. Well, we didn't tell Shea Stadium. There were moments. We <laughs> could have. 1985? I think we could have. Lowe's perspective is a breath of fresh air, shedding light on the potential benefits of being associated with the term reminiscent of the iconic Rat Pack. Are you in the Brat Pack? I'm Brat Pack adjacent. That's what I would say. <laughs> I am not in the Brat Pack. While Brats fulfills some nostalgic cravings, the movie falls short delivering a well-rounded exploration of the Brat Pack legacy. The absence of key figures such as Judd Nelson and Marley Ringwald is noticeable and leaves a void in the narrative. So what are you filming? Oh, we're just doing this documentary. What's it about? Ancient history. Their insights might have added depth and a more comprehensive view of the Brat Pack's impact. This is Andrew McCarthy calling you. Hey, Allie. Hey, Demi. Hey, Molly. Overall, Brat serves as a reminder of the cultural significance of the Brat Pack, but it misses the mark in providing a balanced and inclusive narrative. It's worth a watch for fans of the era, but viewers should temper their expectations and prepare for a documentary that centers more on McCarthy's perspective than the collective experiences of the group. The idea of revisiting the Brat Pack era had great potential, but it would have been better served with a different leader at the helm. Have you seen? Will you watch? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob E and this is Attack on Show.